after watching the school video, um, I just thought the most interesting thing I found was how it's so different in the different countries, like the U.S. compared to these eight different countries that they followed were is so drastic. Um, one of the biggest differences I noticed was the difference between girls and boys and how girls are expected to work um, and if they can do school on top of that then that's great and if they can't then working is fine and the boys just basically get to play and go to school um, so more often than not the boys are educated which is fine but I just think it should be equal I don't really understand that um, I thought I don't remember which country it was referring to but there was this family and the daughter was really far behind and so I think she did it and then she had to drop out to work and then she went, ended up going back to school but her level because it had been so long was with the second graders and so because she was so far behind and a lot older she got made fun of and teased and all the little kids like made fun of her and so she <coughs> She ended up actually dropping out, and her parents were totally fine with that. And they were just saying, I think I wrote it down, um, they just wanted their daughter to find a good match and be happy. And then when it came to education, um, which would be my first thought, um, they just asked, or they just said that she would find an educated boy to marry, and that would be good enough. Um, so all she needed to focus on was work, I guess. Um, I thought it was sad how in one of the countries, the night school, which a lot of people, it's their only option because they have to work during the day, it got shut down. And I know that was because there were too few people, but still, like, when it's your only option and then you can't go to school anymore, I thought that that was really sad. But also, night school in general, I think it was really... Impressive. I have to make a video. Can okay. <laughs> um, I thought it was really impressive how they had school by candlelight in the middle of the night, and how they were so willing to travel long distances um, to do that. And I just don't know. Like today, that would just be unheard of. Like our night school, we consider anything like in the evening, like taking night classes and stuff. But there literally in the middle of the night because they're working all day um, and they have to do it by like candlelight or by fire or whatever. Um, some of the statistics I thought were kind of sad. Um, like two-thirds of the people drop out of school. I forget which country that was in. But um, it's just sad how so many, you just so easy to drop out and how it's so influential people are so influential that when one person drops out so many more um, are just willing to drop out and want to drop out um, I know that there was this boy I, for, I can't remember which country he was from either um, but he was ahead in his classes so he was like a grade ahead or maybe a couple grades ahead but then they um, because they didn't want him to go into middle school because they know that that's the most influential and that's where people drop out the most and that he was just too young and maybe not quite mature enough to be able to like make the right decisions and to stick it out and that he'd be influenced too easily um so he actually had to be held back and some of the, like his teachers were saying um that it might not be good for him because he'd be discouraged because he's almost like he had to like dumb down to a new level um what else um, I thought it was interesting how Japan was so, like, their, I think their secondary education enrollment rate was nearly 100%. And, but, like, as a world, as a worldwide rate, it's less than 60%, which is such a dramatic difference. And, like, why, why is Japan so high? Like, is it just because of the culture there and they just education is very important to them or is it something to do with their economy and they can afford it more or I know I just thought it was interesting how as a world we were less than an, an individual country and I know that that happens but for it to be such a 
drastic difference I thought was really interesting.